All right, good morning or good whatever time it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're starting off with this, and I'm on the wrong slide. But anyway, so learning targets for September 20th, 21st, 2020, is I can understand the importance of the English language. So you're in English class. If you're watching this, you're in my English class, or if you're not, then you're watching this for whatever reason. I don't know why. But my question is, why do we have English? And if you're watching this video, most likely it is because that you missed class or something happened and you're watching this video because you forgot something. So the question is kind of to myself, why do we have English class? Well, that's really a good question because we all, for the most part, most of us speak the English language very, very well. We were born to speak English and here we are. It's more than just that though. So the reason why we study English is that it teaches us to be better writers, editors, and speakers. And it teaches us about different cultures and time periods. So for example is, actually let me get this out. See, this book right here is, is Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities. This is written in the 1800s. It is written in English. But if you were to read this, unless you went to college and like really understood it, you wouldn't understand it and it's still written in English. It's because English has changed a lot over time. We're gonna read some stories actually that you're gonna need a lot of my help because it doesn't make any sense. And it teaches us about the culture of those different time periods. So that book that I just pulled out, by me reading it, I understand what life was like for people in England during the 1800s. It helps me learn about the history. Uh, reading certain books teaches us about different time periods. Without history, there is no English, and without English, there is no history. So they go very well together. And English also helps us become better prepared for the working world. So it's not just about writing and reading. It's also about speaking and talking and talking properly and using the right words and things like that. That, that is really, really, really important. So those are the reasons why we study English. So um, in my opinion, and this is just me, I, uh, math and English are one of the two most important subjects in school that's taught. You're going to need English, you need to know how to write and how to read and how to spell and all that stuff. And you also need to use math every day. Both of those skills you're going to use every single day. I'm not saying like science or arts or history are not important. I just think that they are a little bit less important. So like they have their functions and they're really important in their own way. But the things that you use all the time are going to be English and math. So I'm going to be comparing math and English to each other because they're different. And it's going to explain how I do things in my class. So hopefully you'll understand. So math is like climbing a rope, all right? So to get to the top, you have to start at the bottom. So when you do math, you need to know how to do like, you know, one plus one is two. I'm like, okay, cool, you can add. So then one minus one is zero. Like those basic skills help you build up. So you start off with basic algebra and then you go to geometry and then you go to advanced geometry and so on and so forth. I think I'm probably getting that wrong, but it doesn't really matter. The point is that you have to build on skills to be able to do what you need to do. Um, so you need to be able to build on skills. English is not like that. So it's not like climbing a rope. So to get to the end game in math, you need to know all these skills. English is like jogging on a track, a track that goes on, let's just say forever and ever. So the skills you use every day will be, the skills you use every day, one will be used every day. English is like jogging on a track. I'm sorry, I'm slipping up on my words. So the skills that you use day one will be used every day after it. So everything for the next few weeks is gonna be review. But the point is that we're always going to go back to it. You don't need to build on skills. You don't need to keep learning new information. Like a noun is always going to be a noun. A verb is always going to be a verb. You're always in a period at the end of a sentence. You always need to capitalize letters. So in this class, I'm going to have you practice them over and over and over and over again. And I know some people are going to hate that, but it's just the way it is. So keep that in mind. So like I said, we're going to do everything over and over again. And... However, though, the beauty of this is, is that a lot of the topics I discuss with you in class are all opinions. So there are going to be many times where the answer is not wrong or right. It's how you feel. A lot of English is, is an opinion. So you can decide what the answer is wrong or right. If I ask you, like, if this character you think made the right choice, you can say yes or no. I'm not going to say, well, that's wrong or that's right. I may give you my opinion, but that's just the way it is. So um, that's a plus. But the trade-off is you need to defend yourself. So example would be that if I think that, for example, 
that the new Avengers movie that came out a few years ago is not that great. If I say that, I need to give you reasons why. All right. I could say like the movie is long. There's not that much action in it at some points. It's all about time traveling. It's not that exciting. It wasted my time. Like those are all real reasons why like I could say I don't like the Avengers movie. But if I just say I don't like it and that's it, that doesn't mean anything. So with this class, the trade-off is you need to defend yourself with reasoning throughout the school year. So anyway, that is the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.